Hi, just want to share with you a quick update on my Bluetooth installation in BMW E87. And if you don't remember, if you don't remember, I have a I have an aftermarket Bluetooth receiver for my phone calls and music streaming from my phone. It's installed in my car, it costs like five bucks from AliExpress. Check the video that I'm linking over here for the part one of, uh, of this installation. And the part two was uh, adding USB to the car. So the receiver actually has a USB port that you can use to connect your flash drive with MP3 files on it. And as soon as you connect it, it automatically plays the music from the, from the drive. So today I just installed an, uh, an USB port that's easily accessible for me and uh, it wasn't that hard. I, get, I have to just pry a few things, remove a couple, couple things over here just to guide the wire and remove one of the 12 volt uh, sockets that, uh, that's installed in BMW. In BMW 1 Series I have three 12 volt uh, sockets, I had three sockets. One is uh, uh, under the radio, one is under the armrest and one is in the trunk. So the middle one, the one under the armrest, which was not that easy to access and I wasn't using it anyway, uh, is gone right now. I replaced it with a USB port and as I said, as soon as you connect a flash drive to it, uh, the music plays. So. The third uh, part, the coming soon part, is going to be activating the empty buttons that are in uh, BMW, so I have more control over the music. When I'm streaming music from my Bluetooth device, I can control it on the device itself. I can play, pause, uh, select tracks and so on. But with the, with the USB drive, uh, I would have to press the buttons that are on the receiver. And the receiver is hidden under the dashboard, so I cannot do that. Uh, so I came up with this idea that I will activate those empty buttons over here and uh, use them for the previous next track and play pause. So that's the way that I'm planning to control my uh, media playback from the USB in my BMW. I hope that in the upcoming days I will complete this installation and show you the final results and hopefully it will be satisfying. And the whole installation is like 10 bucks. I think the receiver was five, the cable, USB cable was two and a half. Check the part one tutorial if you haven't already and give me thumbs up if this video helped you. See you soon.